up guys, Blake Wilkie, uh, 29 years old. It's a beautiful day here in California, just doing a little shoot with PRP. I've been into off-roading since I've been a, a toddler. Um, grew up going to Buttercup and Gorin's Wells with my mom. Um, that evolved into me getting a dirt bike at the age of seven. Uh, raced dirt bikes up until I was about 20, 21. Uh, I wanted to go pro, but just injuries and the cost of traveling and all that, plus figuring out if this didn't work, what am I gonna do? So I started racing again, uh, Battle at Prim, um, with this car as soon as it was done, before it had the supercharger and everything in class one, just to get to get that feeling again of that competitiveness, you know, leaving the line next to a trophy truck. To develop a career, that's obviously a goal for the next few years. Uh, build a new car and or buy something done and then develop a very, very well itinerary and outlook on uh, the season I'd like to, or the, the series I would like to get involved with. First Urban Assault, yeah, um, didn't expect it to go that way. I, I was planning on building another new car and then um, this kind of fell into my lap and then I was like, well shit, do I do it, do I don't do it? Ended up selling it, but before I sold it, we, we went and joy it a couple Sundays and just organically like, hey, these are some spots that we've terrorized throughout our high school career and shit. So. I was like, let's just go, let's go hit him and film it, put something together, Corey. Like from perplexed, and um, we did with only maybe a little bit of gas money. Me and Aaron, my partner with Shreddy, um, made Wilkie Work shirts. Ended up selling a substantial amount to where I was like, hey, like this is cool. People dug this, people enjoyed this, and this worked out well for us. Um, and it helped a little bit. I think I ended up giving so many away to people like because I'm a giving person I, I didn't I don't think I really made anything off of it but I saw the opportunity and that's when Shreddy came about because I was like well like I need to do something with this because I see the potential and like I'm already going to all these events like why not so um, that's kind of how Shreddy evolved is through Urban Assault as well as uh, doing the, the Wilkie Works Urban Assault shirts. Following that was Urban Assault 2, which was at the beginning of 2018 we dropped. Um, we dropped that at the MIT 400, which was a big deal. I had a premiere party and all that. Uh, I think the production level was awesome. And then like the party that rolled into it, plus the artists and the platform that we used from James Haunt, who was the artist with some artwork that'll be hung up over here in the Shreddy Shack, and Jinko, uh, the DJ, both renowned uh, artists I think uh, it was cool just to show a clash of, of different people joining in and being exposed to off-road and then being able to use their platforms to also push it so um, things like that are, are essentially I feel like kind of what I need to do in order to get the most bang for my buck and show sponsors that uh, it's not always like who can get across the finish line at one of these big races Plans for Shreddy, uh, just keep pushing forward, keep diligently working at it, coming up with new designs, really cool custom apparel. Diversity is always something that we're trying to do with Shreddy and with events that we're involved with. Make this to where it's a place that everyone can come and rip and be a part of and support something that encompasses everyone from all walks of action sports because at the end of the day, it's all about fun.